Hey y'all, it's the Southern Woods here. Welcome to another Ages of Conflict War Simulation. Alright, last time around we looked at uh, the American Civil War in the year 700. Well, now it's the year 1000 in our real timeline and the map looks a lot different. Alright, 300 years later. As you can see, the woodland people much more bro broken up. Alright, we have several different Mississippian cultures. Alright, as well as the uh, Muscogee people being in my home state of Georgia at this time. We have a lot of Western peoples and tribes popping up by the year 1000, okay? Uh, quite a bit more than last go around. We also have some tribes, all right, in the far Northeast, like the Innu people are now um, a thing, followed by the Markland and the Vinland people, all in that Eastern part of today's Canada. The Mayan people had collapsed by the year 1000, our timeline, all right? So uh, only a couple powers in uh, today's Mexico. So let's see what happens if all these people go into an all-out civil war in the year 1000. There's 10 more nations than there was in the year 700. All right. What will happen? Who will be the first to fall? Place your bets now. All right. We have our first alliance up here in the far north. All right. And then... We have the Kodan Mississippian people declaring war on the Veracruz, all right, via naval, all right, so that's very interesting. We have the Northern Paiute people going uh, towards the Plains Creek, and the Plains Creek declaring war on the Innu, all right, so Innu's getting action very early on. All right, first of all is going to be the Southern Paiute people conquered by the Hohokam. And we also have uh, the Plaquemine Mississippian conquered by the Woodland, all right? Middle Mississippian growing. And the Veracruz conquered by the Kodayan Mississippian people, all right? Who did that little wraparound and naval invasion a little bit. Spyro people became puppets of the Woodland. And now the Spyro ain't no more, all right? We have a big contentious battle here between the Sioux and the Pueblo. Alright. That's something to look at. Meanwhile, the Markland people moving down into Vinland and are going to take them out. Alright. Them and the Innu move down south. The Hohokam next to fall. They did well last video, not so much this time. The Toltec. Alright, trying to get sole control of southern Mexico. All right, we had the Kodan Mississippian people fall now. They're no longer. The Olone people are now all alone. They're, they're gone. The Chumash took them out. We have 23 nations left now. Southern Appalachian Mississippian trying to push up All right, against the Woodland people. We have the uh, Kiowa going across the Mississippi into the Middle Mississippian. See how that plays out. Big wars up here between the Plains Creek, Woodland, Innu, and Markland peoples. I wonder if they're in different... Okay, the Markland and the Woodland on their own. Plains Creek and Innu have an alliance, though. Middle Mississippian fell to the Kiwa people that are now grown a good bit. Now, um, who just fell this time? The Pueblo people, conquered by the Yokuts. Marklin and the Wintu both now gone. We have 19 nations left. Let's look at the statistics here. Innu by far the largest, all right, followed by the Plains Creek and uh, Kiowa people. Rich is going to be the Magolan, Northern Paiute, and Yokuts. All right, we have the St. Johnis having sole control of the Caribbeans pretty much. Northern Paiute fell to the Yokuts, or Yokuts, one of the two. All right. We have the Woodland, all right? They've become a puppet state of the Innu, all right? We haven't seen this before because usually the Woodland are so large. So to see them as a puppet state in this simulation is kind of crazy. All right, we have several wars going on, none of them making super big headway. Now it is the Woodland, man. They're almost completely eaten up. They're completely dependent on the Innu for their protection right now which is kind of crazy to see. We have the Squamish people conquered and the Magolan people. Toltec going to get a lot of that. 
they're now kicking the St. Johnis out of Mexico and now pushing into the Caribbean, starting with Cuba. They've landed into Florida, so that's not good for the St. Johnis. Now the Southern Appalachian Mississippians going to push up into the Woodland. Woodland have to give their money to the Innu, so they are going to fall. Fifteen nations left in this simulation. We have money being spread around. <clears throat> we have several puppet states going on. Alright, St. Johnus revolted against the Toltec. I guess they'd become a puppet state for a minute. Plains Creek released the Musqueam people from their puppetry. Now we have the Toltec pushing far north into uh, current day U.S. Two big ones fall, or a big one falls, being the Plains Creek. Alright, so we're going to have the Tlingit people and Innu get a lot of that territory. Now the St. Johnus, alright, able to push back against the Toltec to get uh, southern Mexico and some uh, current day Louisiana. Southern App Miss conquered. We have the Muscogee and St. Johnis probably teamed up together. Maybe. Alright. Toltec conquered by the St. Johnis. They were able to get the last laugh in that one. Now they set their sights on the Kiowa people. Gonna take them out. St. Johnis looking pretty pretty good right now let's see if they can hold up all right Muskogee conquered by the Sioux so the Sioux and the St. Johnus biggest in current day America and then we have the Innu and the Tlingit people pretty big up in Canada oh now the Sioux is gonna fall it looks like they collapse <clears throat> we have the Yokuts cut off by the Chumash uh oh St. Johnus they ran out of economy now they are done for so we have five nations left. The Yokuts, the Chumash, Musqueam, Tlingit, and Innu. And they're all aligned right now. Who's going to be the first to break the alliance? Instead, we had a couple nations absorb into one another. So now we only have a few left. And it looks like the Yokuts going to get taken out. So we have the Innu and the Tlingit. All right, two Canadian newcomers in the year 1000. All right, who will end up winning? Who will break an alliance first? Or, okay, I was about to say, or will we just have it be these two nations rule? Nope, looks like the Innu. All right, the Innu are going to end up being the winners here in the year 1000. All right, Pe people, people know about the Innu people, right? The Innu, all right. I don't know if it's the same as the Inuits. I'm not sure. But either way, congratulations to them. They're the winner in the year 1000. I will see y'all in the year 1100. We're only going 100 years into the future next time. Okay, so hit me with this like button if you enjoyed this simulation. If you want to see more outdoor videos, food reviews, anything like that, hit the subscribe button and join the Southern Woods community. I'll see y'all later. Southern Woods out.